crowd of 45,000 packs the Leeds United ground to see West Bromwich Albion in striped shirts win the toss against their doughty second division opponents, Bolton Wanderers, in a hectic semi-final battle in the FA Cup. Bolton, showing more directness and thrust in attack, soon forced the Albion on the defensive and Pearson in goal is kept busy. After only 12 minutes, the Lancashire club score first and take the lead. Walton, their reserve centre forward, brought in at the last moment, takes a pass from Westwood and scores with a left foot drive. Bolton hold on to this lead until well after the interval, but the Midlands side makes a great fight of it. They live to fight again. Richardson, their centre forward, gets an equalising goal just before the end. It's a one-all draw and the two teams will meet again, this time at Stoke. But Sheffield Wednesday and striped shirts make no mistake at Villa Park, Birmingham against Burnley and 60,000 people see the Yorkshire club, hot favourites for the cup, trounce Lancashire's other representative by three goals to nil. A drizzling rain makes conditions unpleasant, but the opening stages are hot and fast, and both Wednesday and Burnley have their fair share of narrow escapes. Sheffield soon gets going. Starling gives Rimmer a swinging pass, and Sheffield's left winger draws Scott out and scores a fine goal six minutes from the start. Sheffield supporters are wild with delight, but Burnley fight back, and for most of the remainder of the first half, their forwards give Brown plenty to do in goal. After the interval, Sheffield assert their superiority. Rimmer gets a second goal. The Burnley defence cracks, and to make the issue safe, Palethorpe, their centre forward, scores a third. Sheffield are booked for the final for the first time since they lifted the cup from Everton in 1907.